Well, the kids are back in school and back on the field. And the new challenge for parents is what to pack for practice. Our Sandra Ali is here to share with you the foods that improve your child's performance. Ask any parent and they'll tell you packing food for all of those after school sports, those practices and games. It is not easy, but experts say what you pack can make all the difference in your student athletes performance. School kids these days are busier than ever. Many kids will leave their house at six or seven in the morning and not return home until well after six o'clock at night. Registered dietitian Julie Feldman works primarily with kids. She says most parents really struggle with what to pack to get through those after school practices and games. If your child is always hungry, they're not eating appropriately. If your child is always asking for caffeine, they're not eating appropriately. We shouldn't need caffeine or high sugar drinks or high sugar snacks or really processed food to sort of get us through our day. When it comes to playing sports, while coaches and trainers are excellent at what they do on the field, they are not educated about the specific nutrition requirements of your child. And many of them are giving out nutrition advice all the time. Each of us are really different. So what has worked for the coach or the trainer in the past isn't necessarily what's safe or appropriate for your child. To find some better options, we hit the grocery store and started in the produce section. Kids should be getting in two to three servings of fruit a day. For us busy parents on the go, if you want to buy a, a cut up fruit tray or something that's already ready, if that makes it that much easier, then I think it's a good investment. Julie's number one rule for kids, add some protein. Protein can come from beans. These are already fresh beans that are cooked, so you don't have to like soak them and all that sort of stuff, easy. Many busy parents rely on protein bars. There are certain protein bars that have protein and carbohydrate and healthy fat right in them. So those things are great if you're traveling with your team. But Julie says some options are way better than others. Luna bars have um, a combination. They have fiber in them, protein in them, and healthy fat in them. Um, and so it's a really great all-encompassing snack that doesn't need to be refrigerated and it really fuels you. You don't want a really long ingredient list on the food that you're giving your kids. If there are things on there that you cannot pronounce, it's probably not a great idea to be having it in your food. Um, so a Kind Bar is an example of something that has really minimal ingredients. Sort of their tagline is ingredients that you can see and pronounce. Another protein-packed option good for practice or even game day? Cheese is a really a perfect source of protein. I'm always looking for sort of like a low fat cheese, so things like where it says 2% or part skim or light or low fat, those are nice words to see on a package of cheese. Julie also says the simplest step is one parents often forget, load up on water. When kids get dehydrated or they are experiencing electrolyte imbalance, they are at more risk for injury. They're um, less coordinated. They're not paying as close attention. Feldman also says if your son or daughter is sweating for more than 90 minutes at a time during sports practice, then it's okay to have Gatorade or those electrolyte drinks. Other than that, she says it's best for them to just stick to plain water. Back to you. And she's right. You really do have to read yeah. the labels too to make Huge. sure. Yeah. That this. You'd be amazed how many uh, health bars are terrible Loaded for you. Loaded with sugar. Oh, exactly. man. Yeah, you sound exactly. like you know from experience. Uh, oh, yeah. Here's a look at what uh, Defender Karen Drew is working.